Welcome back to Gold Fries. Uh, this is the Astrock V660M Pro RS motherboard. In this video, I'll be sharing to you a few things. First, the features that I like. Second, the gaming performance. And third, the multi-core workload performance. And some tips on how you can tune the BIOS to get the best performance if you're using a high power draw CPU. Now let's get started. Starting with the VRM, it has an 8-phase power design and as you can see, the heatsink is decent for an 8-phase power design VRM. The board comes with front panel USB Type-C connectivity, an M.2 Wi-Fi socket, two M.2 slots, one for Gen 4 device and one for Gen 3 device with SATA support. It has sufficient amount of fan connectors and ARGB connectors and it has very minimal ARGB, which is at the front at the lower corner. Up next, let's look at the gaming benchmark. This one is a comparison between the performance of this board and the Z690 PG Riptide. As you can see, I'm using bar chart right now, simply because if I were to use the usual line chart, you wouldn't see anything because they are overlapping. For this set of benchmarks, I'm using games that I think that are very sensitive to CPU clock speed. The purpose of this test is to find out whether the B660 holds back the performance of a high-end processor such as the Intel Core i9-12900K and as you can see, it does not hold back the performance at all. Up next is the multi-core workload results. As you can see, the result from the B660 and Pro RS is lower than that of the Z690 PG Riptide. Well, that's because the BIOS by default has a limitation just in case newbie users um, use high, uh, high power draw CPU and it may uh, dam lead to damage or whatever else. However, if you know what you're doing and you want to use an i7 or even an i9 processor like what I did, here's what you can do. Head over to the OC Tweaker section in the BIOS scroll all the way down and make the changes as what I've highlighted to you over here. And after I change those settings, my Intel Core i9-12900K on that Blender BMW CPU test turns out to be extremely close to the one that I was running on the Z690 motherboard, just a few seconds apart. So you know what to do if you want to run a CPU that draws high power. So yes, the Pro RS here over in Malaysia retails at RM559. Certainly a board that I would recommend to anyone who's using an i3 and i5 processor. For those who are using i7, okay. And as for those who want to use Core i9, well, I personally would recommend going for Z690 motherboards, those with beefy VRM heat sinks. However, if you want to stick to this one, just know what I've shared to you. You can use it. Just that, well, it will run warm. It's good to have airflow around to assist in the cooling of the VRM. That's all from me for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video useful and informative. If you like more of this kind of content, do check out the videos at the side and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.